Hello, Beverin. As we are going to do a review on the Netflix series Messiah, we see an individual um, appearing on the scene uh, from the Middle East, and um, he begins to appear in different places around the world and uh, also in the United States. Uh, when a CIA officer investigates, you know, investigate him uh, because he's attracting international attention and followers for acts of public disruption, uh, she embarks on a global high stakes mission to uncover whether he is a divine entity or a deceptive con artist. Now, this uh, Netflix series. Uh, this messiah is is set in a modern day setting um, as we realize and it is not in relation to the first advent of the messiah but it seems to be uh, depicting uh, the second advent of the messiah but uh, this individual is going around doing miracles and many many individuals are drawn to him and uh, the government has an interest in him and um, many have uh, given their views or their reviews and seem to like the show but uh, not realizing uh, how deceptive um, the show is um, because if we uh, understand the scriptures as jesus christ has has told us then we would automatically understand that this this show is a deception um it is basically setting up persons to receive the antichrist um because we know the antichrist uh will appear um before the second coming of christ and uh, lucifer lucifer himself will impersonate jesus christ and um, this show seems to be um setting up a people to fall or to receive this false messiah which is to appear before jesus christ himself appear so if we go according to the scriptures as jesus christ himself told us in the book of matthew uh, matthew chapter 24 from verses 23 jesus christ tells us um, then if any man shall say unto you lo here is christ or there believe it not for there shall arise false christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect right behold i have told you before wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth behold he is in the secret chambers believe it not for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so shall also the coming of the son of man be so jesus christ tells us in the book of matthew chapter 24 if they are saying to you that uh he is here or he is there he is in the in, in the desert or in a secret chambers believe it not because for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so also shall be the coming of the son of man so when jesus christ comes the second time no one will have to say to you that he is there or he is is there uh, as lightning flasheth under the heavens so everyone that is under the heavens will see for themselves so no one has to call you and tell you the messiah is here or the messiah is there so we see the second coming of jesus christ is going to be coming he's going to be coming in his brightness as we go to the book of matthew chapter 25 and verses 31 it also tells us when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit 
upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from his goats so another aspect of the second coming of jesus christ the true messiah is that he is coming in the brightness of the glory of his father and all the holy angels with him all the angels with him so again we see that uh, no one has to call actually call you and tell you that uh, jesus christ has come again in the book of revelations revelations chapter 1 from verses 7 it tells us behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so amen he cometh with clouds he cometh with the angels and every eye shall see him every eye shall see him and again so we see that this messiah this netflix show uh basically has this individual appearing in different places by himself um none of the angels are with him and um he's not in his coming with any brightness or anything like this so we see that this show is deceptive and it is setting up a people to receive the the lucifer himself lucifer himself because many persons in these days have not um taken the bible to its word many people have discarded the bible and um are not allowing the word of god to teach them but are being taught by um the world and the media at large another aspect of uh the coming of jesus christ we read here in the book of first thessalonians chapter 4 and there's verses 13 it tells us the apostle paul is speaking under inspiration but i would not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope for if we believe that jesus died and rose again even so them also which sleep in jesus will god bring with him for this we say unto you by the word of the lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord shall not prevent them which are asleep for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of god and the dead in christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the lord so we see that christ is coming the second time with all his angels in brightness and um with a shout with the trump of the archangel so it will be very loud again no one has to say to you or oh, go here or go there and um, one key point here in in first thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 17 tells us then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air so that means that the second coming of jesus christ he will not walk the earth doing miracles at all so we see that the second coming of jesus christ he will not walk the earth to do miracles but we see that this um netflix show messiah uh is very deceptive and is very subtle and um it's basically training the mind so that um people around the world will receive lucifer himself because we know that he has to impersonate jesus christ or he has to impersonate um, the second coming of jesus christ so we have to study the bible we have to understand what the word of god is um, because the scripture tells us that um, it would be so deceptive that uh, if it was possible even the very elect would be deceived so let us study the word of god and let us allow his word to lead us because he himself said that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word 
that cometh out of the mouth of God. Thank you guys. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.